what does the equation y equal 3 represent in R3? What does z equal 5 represent? What does the pair of equations y equal 3, z equal 5 represent? In other words, describe the set of points x, y, z such that y equals 3 and z equals 5. Illustrate with a sketch. Well, since we know we're working R3, so that means we're working with three dimensions. And y equals 3 in R3 describes all the points x, y, z such that y equals 3. So x, y, 3, z. And these are free to go wherever they want. They could be any number, 1, 5, negative 1, 3, 4, anything. And we know that creates a plane. And then same with z equals 5. Because with z equals 5, we have x, y, 5. And that just creates another plane. This plane is parallel to the x, y plane. And this one's parallel to the xz plane. And so let's uh, illustrate this with a sketch. So first we're going to draw the z-axis, the y, the x. Let's label these. So first let's sketch y equals 3. So in the xy plane, it creates a line. But since uh, z is not bounded, it can go up and down forever. So this creates a plane. So let's just draw this real quick. So if you can just visualize that as the plane going off in all directions. So this is y equals 3. And then for z equals 5, that creates another plane. But this creates it when z equals 5. So here. is not the best uh, drawer but these planes intersect and where they intersect it creates a line so it's something like this where both planes intersect and this this is kind of hard to visualize but if you think about it from going from 2d to 3d in 2d if two lines intersect you get a point. So if you make everything one higher dimension, in 3D and you have planes intersecting, you get a line. And you can describe this line bounded by, because we know y equals 3 and z equals 5 for this line. So we have x, 3, 5, then x can equal all real numbers. This creates a line. And let me illustrate this with a uh, 3D grapher. So we have the equations y equals 3, which creates a plane. z equals 5 creates a plane. This is a lot easier to see this intersection right here. And this creates a line. And this is, we're not, we're not going to get into this too yet, but you can write equations of the lines. And you, you can see how I start with the initial point 0, 3, 5. And you add to only the x component here by 1. So you add and subtract by 1. This lambda is just varies. It's all real numbers. So you can imagine like 1, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5, 4, 3, 5. That's what's creating this line. And then it goes, does the same thing in the neg negative direction.